What is happening, everybody? Welcome to Ribbon Packs on Tuesday. Hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, maybe you watched yesterday's episode. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. It's a holiday weekend. I don't fault you if you didn't. So anyway, what are we doing today? I mentioned yesterday, the reason I brought it up, it's going to be a Bowman Day. And when I say a Bowman Day, it's going to be a lot. So if you don't like baseball, eh, you might, might, might just want to move on. But if you do like baseball, you're in luck. We're going to do a comparison of all the Bowman products on the market right now. That's right, we are going to do a hobby box, a blaster box, a mega box, a cello pack, and a fat pack. We got a lot of bow in here. We're gonna rip open all this and we're gonna let you know, well we, as in me, as in I, what's the best product, what's the best bang for the buck, and just really, what do you wanna find and buy? Hi there. I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody, ripping packs. It is Tuesday, and it is a Bowman edition, a Bowman comparison day. We have a fat pack. All right, well, there we go. We have a fat pack. 19 cards in here, pick this up at the Walmart. I'm gonna do a little thing on the bottom that says how many cards, how much it costs, and we're gonna do a little comparison, total price overall. So there we go, that was a uh, pack I bought at Walmart. And then we have a cello pack, again at Walmart, because, well, you can't find them anywhere. Uh, cello pack, we have 12 cards times two plus five, so a total of 29 cards. Then a blaster box. We have a 66, uh, 72 cards in here. We have six packs of 12 cards. And then the final finale, if finale, another mega box that we're opening for the channel. We have four packs of 10 cards and a two packs of five cards. So that's what we're gonna rip open. But before, whoa, oh, whoa. Before we rip open any of this stuff, click that like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell. And follow me on all that stuff there and you'll see uh, when I get to 500 subs, I'm giving away 20 Dollar Tree packs of NBA hoops. So subscribe. It's just gonna be a random 20 people we're gonna get them. So anyway, ribbon packs, are you ready to go? Cause I sure as hell am. I've been sitting on these, uh, bla I've now opened the blaster of all the channel, the both the blasters and the fat packs for a bit. So ribbon packs, let's go. Fat pack, more value, 19 cards in here. I've heard these are loaded. Will this one be? Let's find out. Rip packs, three, two, one. Let's rip some packs. Okay. We have ourselves some chromes coming up. We got Manny Machado of the Padres. Luis Garcia, rookie card for the Nationals. If you've watched my Bowman rips before, pretty much any base goes into base, even if it's a Trout and guys like that. Rookies, first Bowmans, prospects, and then inserts chromes. Yeah, so there you go. Rookie card. Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. He's gonna go into the rookie pile. He'll hopefully be back soon. Uh, stud pitcher for them. Whit Merrifield for the Royals. Jordan Alvarez, who is just having a great year right now, definitely uh, living up to his hobby potential, if you will, for the Astros. Jacob DeGrom, we all know how awesome of a pitcher he is for the Mets. Mike Clevenger for the Padres. Funny he has a card here, but he won't be pitching this year unless an act of God happens. And then we have Matt Chapman for the Oakland A's. So let's scoot to the back. We'll pull out our prospects. O'Neill Cruz. Uh, a six foot seven shortstop for the Pirates. Going to the prospect pile. Zach Veen, uh, first rounder by the Rockies last year. He, his first Bowman was in Bowman draft. Prospect hit. Anthony Volpe, his first uh, Bowman was 2020, uh, 2020 uh, uh, same edition last year. Uh, he's a prospect hit. Cody Jose uh, for the Dodgers, prospect Hit. We haven't pulled any first Bowmans yet. Come on, guys. I don't... By the way, I know you've probably seen my episodes. There's only like 25 first Bowman total in this set, so it's a real hard draw to get me those. Freddie Zamora, first rounder last year out of Miami, a shortstop for the Brewers. And Vidal Brujan, who is tearing it up at AAA. Um, this guy right here, Vidal Brujan. Um, if Wander Franco doesn't get the call up next, this guy will. He's a second baseman. He's got pop. He is just killing it at Durham. 
All right, and then we're gonna go to our first chrome. It's first at least, is that Garrett Crochet? Nope, Jared Kelly. Crochet's a lefty. Jared Kelly, first Bowman for the White Sox. Put you in the first Bowman pile. Then we have a pitcher who I don't know, Nick Bitsko. Okay, he was a first rounder for the Rays last year. I couldn't tell because I didn't know his face personally. Uh, first rounder last year for the Rays. That's gonna go into the Chrome Pile. Then we have ourselves, is that Blaze? No, Alec Thomas for the Diamondbacks. One of their top, I wanna say number three overall prospect for the uh, Diamondbacks, not in baseball, but he's definitely in the top 50. Uh, and last chrome is going to be uh, Matt Lubertor for the Cardinals, and he's actually going to be pitching for Team USA for the Olympics uh, qualifying. So Matt, Matthew Lubertor, I always say it, traded for uh, Randy Rosarino. And the last one is a 91 uh, Bowman rookie card of Casey Mize. So there is the fat pack. Didn't pull an auto. By the way, everybody you keep posting all your hits, you post your hits only. Show me your losses. Um, I know on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that, you show all the hits. I show the hits and I show the big fat L's. So yeah, do you, you know, I know you're pulling some good stuff, but uh, you know, it seems to me like everybody's pulling an autograph out of fat packs. Well, I just opened a fat pack, not an autograph. Just let you know. All right, so fat pack there. Okay, we seem to do okay. We got one first Bowman, not okay. A couple decent rookies. Um, the Casey Mize Chrome uh, for 91 Bowman, that was nice. Let's go to our cello pack. We have two packs of 12 cards plus five of the uh, camos. Now, interesting thing they did this year was they decided to include all the cards inside of the packs. So we have one pack with three camos and one pack with two camos. So that's where we're gonna go. All right, let's just go right here. Ripping packs, cello time. Let's rip some packs, let's go. Okay, we got our camos in the middle. We got Vladdy Guerrero for the Blue Jays. Lou Bob for the White Sox. Hopefully he comes back and comes back healthy and has, maintains his stranglehold on the hobby. Freddie Freeman for the Braves of Atlanta. Tanner Houck, rookie card for the Red Sox. I'd throw him in the PC pile, but I just don't do that with Bowman. I'll break it out later. And then Sam Huff for the Rangers, who's injured right now, but one of their young rookie catchers. We'll go to the back and pull ourselves. Bryce and Stott. First Bowman was last year. He's a uh, rookie sh uh, prospect shortstop for the Phillies. They love their shortstops. Brandon Davis, one of the top uh, outfield prospects uh, in baseball and the Cubs number one, maybe two or three uh, prospect for the Cubbies. Logan Davidson, shortstop for the A's. Don't know much about him, sorry. There's our Sam Huff, let's go to the back. We have ourselves a first Bowman of Jeremy De La Rosa, Chrome, nice. I've pulled him before, but I'm still getting a grasp on some of these dudes' names. So Jeremy De La Rosa, first Bowman hit. Next one is at Jordan Adams. Yep, Jordan Adams for the Angels with the Chrome. We'll do our camos next, I guess, because they're coming up next. We have a, oh, this is the Jared Kelly kid again. Jared Kelly, first uh, Bowman camo. Put that in the, uh, well, put it over there for right now. Our next camo is Emerson Hancock for the Mariners, their first round pick last year. And our last camo of this pack, three of them, is going to be, is that Christian Robinson? No, Geraldo Perdamo. Don't know much about him, but I guess he's one of the top 100 prospects in baseball, so. Then we have two, th two cards left. We have a Bowman Scouts top 100. Is that Forrest Whitley? Forrest Whitley, number 21, who is, if you didn't know, out for the year uh, for uh, Tommy, Tommy John surgery. And so yeah. And our last card is another Bowman 91, Julio Rodriguez, that a kid. This guy's one of the top, I mean, he's like number five, number six overall top prospect in all of baseball. He's in high A right now, and it's just a matter of time. 
it shouldn't be this year, but maybe next year, middle, middle end of the season, this guy will be in the bigs. If he plays his cards right. The guy's a legit, legit player. All right, pack number two. We should have two camos in here of the cello. Let's rip some packs. All right. Okay, we got Luis Castillo for the Reds. Cody Bellinger, belly bomb, back and healthy. Let's see you play better for the Dodgers. Josh Donaldson for the Twins. He's back and healthy too, so that means all is right in the world of baseball. Aaron Nola, the ace pitcher for the Phillies. And Jody Gallo, Jody, Joey Gallo for the Rangers. Let's go ahead and get to our prospect pile. We have first Bowman paper of Maximo Acosta, one of the top prospects. One of the cards you want to get in this uh, set, Maximo Acosta, that's a first Bowman hit. Then Jordan Walker, third baseman drafted by the Cardinals, probably moved to first base. But who knows, because they have a ton of third basemen and he's only like 18 years old. So you got some time there. But Jordan Walker, Bo Naylor for the Indians. Then we're back at Joey Gallo. So let's go to the back. We have a first Bowman of Blaze. Jordan, nice. I've, nice to get the uh, chrome version of Blaze right there. That's a nice little hit. Got the paper. I've been missing out on this kid. I'm not missing, I, I haven't been pulling him. But that's a good, that's a nice little hit right there. Then our next one is Robert Hassel for the Padres with a little bit of a streak in there. You'll see over here somewhere maybe, but yeah. Robert Hassel, number one overall last year for the Padres. Looks like he's eighth overall um, playing at Lake Elsinore, uh, A-ball down here in Southern California. Robert Hassel, one of the top prospects in baseball. Then we have our camo. Our first camo is, I know this guy's Junior Severino. Junior Severino, second baseman, first chrome camo for the Twins prospect. And our next chrome is going to be a, a Cade Cavalli. Uh, and this guy was 22nd overall last year in the 2020 draft, pitcher for the Nationals. Two cards left here. We have a Austin Hendricks Futurist. Um, there was, he was the first round pick by the Reds last year. Uh, his first card is in Bowman uh, Draft 2020. And the last card of the pack is Rookie of the Year, Dylan Carlson, who I just bought one of these for a buck the other day, but you know what, why not have another one, because I PC the guy anyway. So there you go, there is your cello pack. We did good, we did good. Did we do great? Eh, but, well, we, mm -hmm. but it is now time for the blaster box. Now, we got a lot of cards coming up here, so from here on out, I'm only gonna go to you for the hits, Gonna go to you for the hits. I'm just gonna stay down here for any of the non-notables. You ready to do this? Bowman Blaster. We have 72 cards in here. We're looking for the green parallel retail exclusives. We have a total of five packs of 12 cards plus one extra pack. Ripping packs. Let's go and rip open this blaster box. All right. Okay, this is one I picked up on uh, tops.com of all things back when they first hit and I paid 30 bucks for it. Obviously not knowing um, that Target was going to have a massive amount of them on Friday. Um, but it doesn't matter because I collect these. So here we go, ripping packs. Bowman Blaster Box. Yeah, okay. There we go, six packs, five cards. I mean, six packs of 12 cards. Uh, we're, don't know what to get. We're green retail exclusive. There's not gonna be any specialty cards in here. They're, you know, the mega box or anything like that. This is just flat out packs of cards. Let's go. Pack number one of the, the blaster box. Okay, we have Austin Meadows, Chris Bubik, rookie card for the Royals. Tyler Stevenson, rookie catcher for the Reds, playing some first base. He's a utility guy, had my fantasy team, that's why I know, but he's actually doing pretty well. So Tyler Stevenson, rookie card. Anderson Tejada, shortstop rookie for the Rangers. Joey Bart, rookie catcher for the Giants. He'll be back up in the big league soon. Nate Pearson, same thing with this guy. He will, as soon as he's 100% healthy, he had a little quad issue and 
I don't know if he's back up yet, but I know they're, uh, Alec Manoa just got called up and he's kind of like those two together. Oh boy, they're gonna be dangerous. And Xander Bogarts, let's go to the back. C.J. Abrams, prospect for the Padres, one of the top prospects in baseball. Another Junior Severino for the Twins. And then Max Meyer, the Marlins' uh, number one uh, pick last year. I want to say number four overall. Let's go to our Chrome. We have ourselves, is this Dax Jordan Fulton? Dax Fulton uh, for the Marlins. And our next Chrome is going to be Gunnar Henderson. I've been reading up a lot on this guy, and he's uh, he's legit. Gunnar Henderson, shortstop for the uh, Orioles. He's legit, though. So, All right, pack number two of the Bowman Blaster Box. Let's go rip some packs. Mm. Okay, we got Paul Goldschmidt for the Cardinals. Josh Bell no longer with the Pirates, now at the Nationals. Mookie Best, Dodgers, PC hit. Alex Bregman for the Astros. Jose Abreu for the White Sox. Fernando Tatis killing the ball for the Padres. Anthony Rendon, let's get to the back. Maximo Acosta, who I just showed you a bit ago, but he's going to go into the first Bowman pile. Then Yolbert Sanchez, shortstop for the White Sox. Haven't pulled him at all that I recall. First Bowman hit. Drew Romo, catcher for the Rockies. I want to say he was their... Uh, their uh, Sub, uh, supplemental first round pick. He is his, and then we have ourselves. Let's see here. Is that Pete Crow? Oh, Brett Beatty. Wow, way off. Brett Beatty for the Mets. And then we have ourselves at JJ. JJ Bladey for the Marlins. One of their top five prospects. And he'll be probably up at the big leagues by the end of the year, maybe. So there's pack number two. Pack number three, what you gonna give to me? You're gonna give me some cards of baseball players is what you're gonna do. Let's go, rip some packs. Urgh. Okay, we have ourselves Ryan Mountcastle, rookie car for the Orioles, the rookie extraordinaire. Christian Javier, rookie for the Astros. He's doing pretty well. Uh, he's been going, he's now in the starting rotation for them. Braylon Marquez, rookie card for the Cubs. Uh, sorry, I don't know much about him. Shohei, we all love our Shohei right now. The guy's awesome. Charlie Blackman for the Rockies. And we have Brian Anderson for the Marlins. Let's scoot to the back. Bryson Stott, who we pulled just a bit ago, but he'll show you anyway, prospect pile. Keone Cavaco, shortstop for the Twins. He was our first round, I want to say, in 2018. Uh, good young shortstop for them. Brandon Marsh, which is funny because you look at this guy, he looks like he's uh, Jason Worth, light. Uh, but he's like 22 years old. He's, he'll be up in the bigs probably in the next year or so too, but the question is, do they have room for him? Brandon Marsh, going to the prospect pile. Let's scoot to our back. Our first chrome is a first of Mike DeVoe, Trent DeVoe for the Angels, Trent DeVoe. And our next Chrome is going to be Rutledge. Yep, Jackson Rutledge for the Nationals with the Chrome. Then we have an insert here, a Bowman Scouts Top 100. Is that Sixto? Sixto Sanchez, number 22 on their Top 100 list for Bowman. So there you go, pack number three. Pack number four of the Blaster Box. 2021 Bowman. Let's go! Got ourselves Bryce Harper, Yadier Molina, Frankie Lindor, JD Martinez, Austin Hayes, Evan White, rookie card for the Mariners. Uh, let's hit more of the buck 25, Evan. Maybe you'll have a starting job back. Let's go to the back. We have ourselves Robert Hassel, prospect for the Padres. We already pulled him, but just so you can take a look at his paper base card. A first of Adinso Reyes, uh, pulled a green at him in the mega box before, and that was a, that's a nice hit. Uh, he's a, one of their short, young shortstops. Then Christian Robinson, outfielder, uh, prospect for the Diamondbacks. He's uh, one of their top five prospects too. Let's go to our back. We have our first chrome is going to be, is that Lodolo? Nick Lodolo, uh, the Reds 2019, yeah, 2019 number seven overall in the first round for the Reds. Left-handed pitcher. And our next Chrome is going to be 
that, uh, dude, the guy, Tr Larnick? Yep, Trevor Larnick, who just got called up uh, to the Twins, outfielder, uh, out, out of Oregon State, I didn't know that. But yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's a good one right now. And our last card is another 91 Bowman with Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm, rookie card for the 91 Bowman uh, card. Yeah, ooh, nice, it's actually a nice card. So there you go, there's pack number four. Pack number five of the Bowman Blaster. Let's rip some packs. Okay. Ooh, we got a green coming up. We got a green, that's a good one, I hope. Leo Di Tavares, rookie card for the Rangers. Then Jazz Chisholm, to me, Dylan Carlson should still win rookie of the year, but this guy, Jazz, he definitely uh, deserves to be warranted. Any any of the accolades. The guy is killing the ball, he's playing great defense, he's a, he's a spark plug. Really like seeing a guy like this play. Then Casey Mize, rookie pitcher for the Tigers, finally getting things back in line, back in order there. Debbie Garcia, rookie pitcher for the Yankees. Uh, he's built like Pedro, maybe throws like Pedro. I hope he doesn't look like Pedro because he's a Yankee and I'm a Red Sox fan, yeah. Then we have ourselves Jake Cronworth, nice. Uh, I like Jake a lot, he's just like a 28 year old rookie. And that's the thing is in the hobby, we just don't like our 28 year old rookies. They're not worth much. As a team, as a player, I like the guy. To collect him, eh, not so much. Let's go to the back. We have ourselves El Hiras Montero, third baseman now with the Rockies organization. Uh, one of the pieces in the uh, Nolan Arenado trade. Matthew Libertor, which I already spoke about. Throw him in the prospect pile. First Bowman of Jake Vogel for the Dodgers. Then let's go to the back. We have ourselves a first of Zet Ivan Johnson. Ivan Johnson, first Bowman for the uh, Reds. Ivan Johnson. Then our next Chrome is going to be Jeter Downs, who's going to be playing for Team Panama or Columbia, I believe, because his mom or dad are from there. But Jeter Downs, that's a nice little hit. Um, then our next card is going to be a Pirates Talent Pipeline with Travis Swaggerty, O'Neill Cruz, and Blake Wyman. Okay, I guess you could call those. I think you're missing a couple key guys, like, uh, I don't know, Nick Gonzalez would be one of them I would put on there. Insert. And the last card is a green. A green Aaron Judge, number 99. 91 Bowman. That's a nice little hit, especially considering I, I PC Judge. But number 77 of 99. Uh, there you go, that's a nice little hit. Especially because it's a guy you collect, a, a guy who's good too. Well, he's good when he's healthy. But yeah, that's a nice little hit there. PC of Aaron Judge. All right, last pack of the blaster box before we get to the mega box. Pack number six, Bowman 2021. All right. Okay, we have ourselves Luis Camposano, catcher, rookie for the Padres. Still Camposano, if you follow Major League Baseball back in the 80s, it's his kid. Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Braves, Shane Bieber, Cy Young winner for the Indians, Christian Yelich back and healthy for the Brewers, Sean Murphy for the A's, and Kyle Lewis going into my PC. Let's go ahead and scoot to the back. We got another Blaze Jordan paper card. I can live with that. Sure, it's not a chrome, but it's paper and Blaze is good. He's a good young one. He's about five years away. Pete Crow Armstrong, prospect for the Mets, first rounder uh, out of the 2020 season, uh, 2020 draft would be his Bowman, his first Bowman. Out here from SoCal, out at uh, Harvard Westlake. His mom actually was the mom in Little Big League. Then Tyler Freeman, shortstop for the Indians. Don't know much about him. Then our first Chrome is going to be, is that, uh, oh, Jaron Duran. He's a, uh, He's ready. He's going to be in the big league soon, but he's actually going to play for Team USA. But he's uh, he's ready to go. Uh, the guy's killing it at AAA right now. But Jaron Duran, rookie, not rookie, but uh, prospect Chrome. Our next one's going to be uh, this, uh, yeah, Jeremy Pena for the Astros with the other Chrome card. And the last card of the pack is another futurist. Is that Hassel? Yep, Robert Hassel for the Padres. 
So the Bowman, uh, the blaster was pretty decent. Uh, pulling that judge definitely uh, gave us the one special card. But it's time for us to open up the Mega Box. Now we've opened up the Mega Box before on the channel. We did get an Aqua number to 225. We have four packs of 10 cards, which are just gonna be base and chrome, and then five, two packs of five cards, which are the Mojos. There's been some pretty good hits in these. So will this have a hit? I don't know. Let's find out. Ribbon packs, three, two, one. Let's rip some packs. All right, great. Here we go, mega box time. I picked this up at Barnes and Noble for $30. So it's kind of funny, I picked this up for 30 and the blaster for 30. But anyway, here we go. And again, I've said I've ripped it for on the channel, but just in case you want to see, there's what comes inside right there. There are our mega box exclusive packs. We'll do those at the end. And then our four Bowman regular packs. Let's rip them. Now, ripping packs, let's go. Okay, Austin Meadows for the Rays. Chris Bubik, who I just showed you, but we'll just pass on him. Tower Stevenson, so we got a uh, uh, allocation thing here. Anderson Tejada, Joey Bart, we have our Chromes. Let's scoot to the back. Gunnar Henderson, I just showed you a bit ago. JJ Blade, Jordan Adams. And our first chrome is going to be, is that Logan Davidson? Logan Davidson for the A's prospect card. Our next prospect, our last prospect chrome is going to be, is that uh, Clayton uh, Beater? Clayton Beater for the Dodgers. He was their number one last year, no, no number two overall last year uh, to the Dodgers, 66th overall to the Dodgers. Normally you go into the PC pile, but right now you're not. Pack number two of the Bowman Mega Box. Ten cards. That's it. Let's go. Nate Pearson, rookie card. Might as well show him again because, you know, he's a rookie, even though he didn't pull him before. And then we have Xander Bogarts, Paul Goldschmidt for the Cardinals, Josh Bell for the Pirates, Mookie. Let's go to the back. Brett Beatty. We showed him earlier on the Chrome, but not on the paper, and there's such a huge difference. Brett Beatty for the Mets. Jackson Rutledge for the Nationals. Nolan Gorman, one of the top prospects in baseball, another quality third baseman for the uh, Cardinals, who you're not gonna get much playing time. They're either gonna get traded or move positions. Nolan Gorman, prospect for the Cardinals. Our first Chrome is going to be Jared Kelnick, nice. Not his first Bowman, in fact, it's probably like his seventh or eighth Bowman, but Jared Kelnick, Chrome for the Mariners. Guy just got his big, uh, his cup of, his uh, big call to the majors, and he's been doing okay. Guy's hitting the ball well, he's just not hitting for an average just yet, but he's showing he belongs up there. And the next one is going to be a first Bowman of Aaron Sabato, nice. Um, the thing with this guy, he reminds me a lot of those big sluggers from the 80s, the DHs, so I could be way off, but he just reminds me of us. He's either gonna strike out or hit home runs, and he could be the next Dave Kingman. Who knows? He could be the next uh, Steve Balboni. He looks like Steve Balboni. I don't know. Anyway, that's a hit right now in the hobby. But yeah, Aaron Sabato. Two packs left of the base, if you will. Number pack number three, Bowman Mega Box. Let's go. Right, Alex Bregman for the Astros. Jose Abreu for the White Sox. Fernando for the Padres. Anthony Rendon for the Angels. Ryan Mountcastle. And okay, I'll show it to you. Rookie card for the Orioles, even though I showed it to you a bit ago. Let's go to the back. Trevor Larnick for the Twins. We already talked about him, but I show you his paper base. Prospect card. Nick Lodolo, same thing. Uh, first round for the Reds from two years ago. Dylan Dingler catcher for the Tigers. He was a first rounder last year, I mean third rounder last year for the Tigers. Let's go to our Chromes. We have Mackenzie Gore, Chrome for the Padres. He plays his cards right. He's going to be in the big leagues by August. He's legit. The guys, they have no need for him, but he needs to be up there. And the last Chrome is going to be a first of Austin Martin. Chrome. Nice. That's the card you're going for. That's your Jason Dominguez of this year. Um, the guy's gonna be in the big leagues within the next two years, in my opinion. He's ready to go. He was killing the ball at Vanderbilt uh, in college. 
it's a matter of him just where are you going to play him because yeah he's legit that's a that's a huge hit right there pack number four of the mega box the last normal pack and then it's time for the mojo let's go Christian Javier, rookie card for the Astros. Braylon Marquez for the Cubs. Shohei, Charlie Blackman. Let's go to the back. We have some first, we have Jeter Downs, paper, which I didn't, I showed you the chrome earlier, but there's the paper, Jeter Downs, prospect for the Red Sox. Ivan Johnson, first, Bowman for the Reds. Then uh, Jason Rosario, outfielder for the Red Sox. I actually don't know who this guy is, but hey, whatever. You learn things. Okay, our first chrome is going to be Isaiah Green. Uh, first rounder, no, second rounder last year for the Mets. Chrome uh, prospect card. And our last chrome is going to be, is that the, I, I know this dude's name. It's uh, Michael Toglia for the Rockies. I couldn't remember his name, but I remember the Gator, the Neck Gator. Uh, so yeah, there you go. There is your last chrome from the Mega Box. So the Austin. Martin was the big deal, but we still got two of these Mega Box Mojos left. Let's go. Let's get some last pack Mojo. <laughs> yeah, ripping packs. Let's go. Okay. All right. We have got ourselves Logan Gilbert Mojo. Uh, he just got called up to the big leagues the same day that Evan, uh, not Evan, but uh, Jared Kelnick did. He's it didn't pitch okay the first two in starts, but he's done. He did okay in the last round, so it's a mojo. Then Reed Detmers for the uh, Angels. He's in Double A now. He'll be in Triple A. I mean, they're really grooming him to be up in the big soon. So Reed Detmers, he was a first rounder last year for them. Then we have uh, Sixto Sanchez, Rookie of the Year favorites. That's uh, probably not going to happen now. He's still young. He's still good. He's still a good pitcher. It's just injuries have kind of derailed this season so far, but yeah. Then we have Nick Lodolo for the Reds. I already talked about him, but now we have the mojo of him. And then Christian Robinson for the Diamondbacks. So we got some good players. Didn't get any first there. Didn't get anything good either, really. You know, the hits, if you will. But we'll pack number two of the Mojo Mega Box. Do that for us. Let's find out. Rip some packs. Let's go. Urgh. All right, and probably not. Alexander Ramirez, at least we have a first Bowman for the Angels. So at least we have a first in the mojo. Nice. Okay, you heard me talk shit about the guy, but here we are. Aaron Sabato again with the first Bowman uh, mojo. Okay, so that's a good one to pull. Then we have a, is that a futurist? A futurist of Marco Luciano. It's a nice one. He's definitely one of the uh, top prospects in baseball. He'll be, he's a young shortstop. He's legit. It's a matter of time. And the Giants, I don't like them, but they are a good young team. Um, and they're ready. They're ready for their futurists, if you will, with the futurists. And then we have ourselves Francisco Alvarez, uh, catcher for the Mets. I want to say he's in uh, high A ball right now, but the guy, or double A, but the guy is definitely one of the top prospects for the Mets. So it's not a bad card to pull. And the last card of the pack is George Kirby for the Mariners. Mojo. And I can't add anything to this guy because I don't know much about him. Except for he plays for the Mariners and he's a right-hand pitcher. So, there you go. Um, there is your comparison video. Uh, didn't pull any autos. And I know all you clowns out there keep pulling autos out of your packs. You're not pulling autos in every pack, people. Come on. So, I mean, the biggest hits, I mean, I pulled out all the, all the um, I'm going to put down below the stats instead of just going through the entire thing. Uh, the first Bowmans we pulled, we did, we did okay on the Mo, we did, we did a couple good names on the Chrome and on the Mojo, um, not a lot. Um, we did pull one numbered card, one whole numbered card out of the entire rip, which is kind of crazy to pull the one, and it was the retail exclusive green. Um, we got some of the camos as we should. I'll just go through real quick on the first because realistically, those are the cards that you're buying this for. That's true. I mean, I'm not gonna show you the guys we just pulled because we just did those, but um, let's go to the beginning. We'll go back to the lands of time. Jeremy De La Rosa, he's a chrome that you're, I honestly wasn't looking for him, but the more I've read about him, the more I've paid attention, he's a, he's a good one to get. 
Then we have uh, Maximo Costa, who is the paper version there, but he's a good young one. Blaze Jordan, chrome version here, but that's nice for finally pull that one. So Blaze Jordan. Uh, we have uh, Junior Severino out of the cro out of the camo, um, the only camo that was actually any good. And then um, there's another Union, another Maximo, Trent DeVoe, Adenso Reyes, shortstop who's like 19 years old, so pay attention to him for the Tigers. And the Tigers have got a good young team eventually in the next three or four years, so he might be a guy to pay attention to. Then we had ourselves in the Uplace Jordan Paper, who I just talked about him with the Chrome. The guy's like three, four years away easily. And he's a third baseman. They have Tristan Cassis coming up. They have Bobby, uh, Bobby, uh, what's his butt? Uh, you know, Bobby Two Dingers, you know, Bobby Dingers hidden up there at first base. So there's going to be some positions being moved or some trade bait. But yeah, Blaze Jordan will probably end up being a third baseman. He's going to be built like that. Uh, we got our Aaron Sabato. We got the duel on the Sabatos. We got the Chrome and we got the Mojo on him. The Austin Martin was uh, a great pull on there on the Chrome. But yeah, then the Mojos, the Alexander Ramirez, a guy I don't know too much about, and the Sabato for the Mojo. So again, no numbered, the only numbered card we did pull, like I said, was the uh, was the Aaron Judge, numbered to 99. So that's a nice, like I said, a nice hit. So our inserts were okay, our rookies were decent, but that's that's what you get. So there's Bowman. I'm going to put down below, like I said, the price, the quantity, amount of cards, how much each card equates to, um, what I paid that is. Um, and yeah, so if I were to buy these again, obviously the mega boxes is where it's at. Um, you're going to get a sheer amount of cards in the blaster. Um, the cellos, the camos, I've got a handful of those. The camos are nice. But I think when it's all said and done, I think you'd rub better off with your chances of playing the odds at the fat packs if you can still get those. And they're not a bad price. So anyway, there you go. There is your Bowman Comparison Edition on Rippin' Packs. Thank you for watching Rippin' Packs. Hey, make sure you, um, that subscribe button gets pushed. And that like button gets pushed. And that notification bell gets pushed. And follow me on all that fun stuff there. And you'll see uh, what's going on. You'll see the handful of hits from this. And you'll also see uh, what else I got coming up. Which, I don't know. Tomorrow's what the F Wednesday. So I don't know what I'm ripping. So anyway, thank you for watching Ripping Packs. Come back tomorrow and I'm ripping something. I'll see you then.